So you mentioned the name of the band comes from literature. So tell me a little bit about that and the connection to the local area, possibly. Okay. Um, I, I had totally forgotten about the Anne Green Gables things. Yeah. So you'll have, to fly, you'll have to take that in. Well, the, uh, the trip to Belleville for our first major performance in a really beautiful venue in Belleville yeah. called The Cork. Now, what are we going to call ourselves? Our, our, Jerry and Leanne sounds like a, you know, Tom and Jerry or something. <laughs> uh, so Leanne said, "How about Kindred Spirits?" And I said, "Oh, that's a great name." So, it really, it really worked for us because we both agreed on it just like that from from the very first day. So. Oh, nice, nice name for a band for sure. So, where are some of the places that you've performed over the past years? Oh well, we. For the small amount of time that we've been performing, um, we've been we've been getting the outdoor venues at the festivals like Apple Blossom Times, right, Colborn, and so we've done that for three years now, and this was our third. And uh, then we had, we started out at the Core in Belleville at Night Kitchen Two, and then we were offered the feature at uh, it usually plays at the Pinnacle, so we got to play the Pinnacle Playhouse. Um, it's a feature, and that was pretty great too. Where else we've been? Open mics uh, are not commonly run every week, but we started with every Friday night in Colborne, and it got bigger and bigger and bigger, and lots of people. So uh, the men gave us uh, Friday and Saturday, and uh, eventually, late last year. We had Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so that was a lot yeah, of. Yeah, we were running mics. three open mics a, a oh, week, oh, yeah. and oh, wow. still trying to get out to places that um, we just loved to play in, like the old church. Okay. And so the old church was a great place for us to, you know, kind of get our feet wet and experience different venues, and yeah. uh, and then. The Baxter Art Center in in, in Bloomfield. Yeah. That's oh, a great okay. Place oh, they're too. serious about open mics. It's a great sound system and a wonderful. And in uh, the Port Bistro, uh, on the patio, and that was right there. The water is just beautiful. And uh, actually, we did. We were there for the uh, first of July, and so mm -hmm. we stepped out back and packed the car. And there was fireworks going on. It was wow. great. <laughs> yeah. In in February of uh, 2019, uh, we recorded uh, seven songs. Uh, they were recorded by this brilliant engineer. Uh, Rob Skinner is his name. He's oh, okay. in a band called the Red Dirt Skinners ah. from the UK. Anyway, uh, we have that. We haven't re released it as a CD, uh, yeah. but uh, yeah. but it's uh, it was really inspiring project. to to work with uh, Rob and Sarah. Uh, I two seven eight is the name of their right. studio, and oh. uh, so it's been sitting. And we're you know we have a we have this lovely following of people. Um, we go out to Cafe 23, for instance, in, in Sterling, and you know, so there are people in all these little clusters of places that we go, uh, that um, you know us and know that the kind of music that we do. It's uh, we do so many standards, and uh, so much Gershwin. It's just it's beautiful music, and uh, and Jerry's, you know, we as a bundle, you know, we we love what we do. And yeah, I, you know, we can sing pretty well, but we, we, you know, they're always all the players in the room are watching his hands and saying, oh, I don't even know what that is, man. I love, I love the opportunity. Uh, there's a place in Colbert that gives you a, a really good deal on a free hamburger, I guess. Yeah, yeah, perfect. And uh, oh, okay. there's a place, the Devonshire in. Devonshire Hotel, Drake Devonshire. Oh yeah, we love Edmonton. going to the Drake. It's right. fabulous. They have a, just a room set up for musicians. So oh, nice. so. It's wonderful to be out there. Um, and uh, the, some private things. Uh, something really uh, kind of remarkable for us was that we were hired by one of the people who comes out, just as a, an audience member. And uh, they wanted us to perform at the Celebration of Life for oh their father and that was a very wonderful experience for us to be able to do that. Wow, mm -hmm. amazing. Uh, 
So you mentioned that uh, you're either working on a new CD or uh, you've got one coming out soon, I think, or something yeah, like that. Coming out soon. Right. Uh, we wanted it to be something that um, we had enough invested in um, to um, satisfy the people who were asking for stuff. You know? yeah. uh, so it's, it's seven songs, it's an EP. And, um, but since then, um, I've been writing like crazy, and you know, Jerry. Oh, his and, uh, melodies come out of the end. She's having a great time. You know, I was killing them. I've got 14 songs. We should hurry up and record those. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so. And where will it be available for sale other than a gift of art? I think you're going to leave a few yeah, copies here at some we point. Will, we will. <laughs> um, it, well, certainly everywhere we go. Um, and uh, very likely Cafe 23 in, in Sterling. Um, you know, we really haven't, uh, actually we do have a list of all the places <laughs> that are interested, but oh. um, we haven't, uh, we haven't even looked at it in the last little while, but uh, we will absolutely um, make it known. In fact, the very best place to find out that kind of stuff is on the, our Facebook page. Okay. Kindred Spirits has a Facebook page mm -hmm. and, you know, we respond to all the messages and um, so we also have a, a YouTube channel with uh, absolutely nothing on it, but maybe yeah. this video. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> send you a few copies. Do you have a website too? I couldn't find that. Yeah, so we haven't yet. Day, but, okay. And uh, and that was just an oversight, you know. Right. Yeah. Always good. Okay. Well, congratulations on your success, and thanks a lot Thank for you. coming today. Thank you very All much. Right. James. <laughs>